EU diplomat Joseph Borrell just can't stop insulting Africans. He keeps coming at Africans and uh, frankly, I think it's time to call him out. The first time around, he was talking about how Europe is a garden and how they need to protect themselves from the jungle. Europe is a garden. We have built a garden. The, the rest of the world, and you know very well, Federica, is not exactly a garden. The rest of the world, most of the rest of the world, is a jungle. And the jungle could invade the garden. And the gardeners, should take care of it. The jungle has a strong growth capacity and the world will never be high enough in order to protect the garden. The gardeners have to go to the jungle. And then last time he was caught saying, Malians, the protesters don't know better. Do they even know who Russia is? Do they even know who Putin is? But Russia is able to deflect blame, twist reality, and to find an audience in some part of the world. Uh, I've seen in the TV screens these uh, African young people on the streets of Bamako with a billboard saying, Putin, thanks, you have saved the Donbass, and now you will save us. It's really shocking. Well, you can consider these people don't know where the Donbass is. Maybe they don't even know who is Putin but uh, they are getting mobilized on the streets. A and they see in some capital of a, a country who is a, a candidate to become a member of the European Union. You don't have to go to Bamako, you have to go to the Balkans. And you will see in, in the Balkans, uh, uh, thanks, um, happy birthday. Mr. Putin. Now, his latest insult is calling Africans easy. They actually called us easy targets because Russia's foreign minister, Sergei Lavrov, is visiting African countries. And as you all know, the European Union is not very happy about that relationship. So he decided to insult Africans by calling us easy just because we no longer want to accept the nonsensical contracts, the nonsensical push that we used to get from other nations, we would say, okay, left and right. But now as we have proven ourselves at the latest UN Security Council meeting, we are okay with saying no, and we are okay with staying neutral, which is making a lot of powerful nations angry. Right after he said that, Russia's foreign minister, Sergei Lavrov, responded. He said, quote, so speaks a man who can't hide the racist essence of his worldview. Not so long ago, he openly spoke about Europe being a garden surrounded by a jungle that threatens it. So the garden needs to be careful with the jungle. That says it all about who actually relates to the needs and interests of African countries and how. We have nothing to hide or to be ashamed of. We were at the source of Africa's liberation from the colonial yoke. The Soviet Union was one of the main initiators of the declaration to grant independence to colonized countries and peoples in 1960. He's not lying, but at the end of the day, Africa needs to do what's best for Africa. African countries should only deal with any other foreign nation if it's going to be beneficial to African countries. A lot of African countries had a relationship with EU countries, with US, but where did that get African countries? That's why now you see a lot of African countries posing and thinking about what kind of decision they're making. Just recently, we talked about how uh, the Western world was calling out South Africa for having a relationship with Russia. At the end of the day, South Africa needs to do what's best for South Africa. Just because US doesn't like it doesn't mean South Africa needs to lose out on benefits and providing for their people and feeding their people and protecting their people. So with that being said, Joseph Burrell should really think about what he's saying because he's really showing his racism and people are noticing. Anyways fam, let us know down below what your thoughts are about this EU's top official speech about Africa. I am Mungil Zalalem. I'll see you on the next one.